Like, yeah, so. You he know, was very unique. I can tell you this. I'm still unique. You unique. I'm saying at the time when I met him, do you know how unique he had to be to make me? Because I've only dated older men. Because older men are more mature. They're more secure. They're more stable. Hey, hey, hey. And I had a Benz back then. I was riding Benz back then. I was riding beans back then. But he in. knows I'm I was riding beans, beans back then. I ain't yeah, I was riding beans back then. He knows the material does not. Hey, I was rocking me. ice. I was still rocking ice back then. Fuck you mean? I was still rocking designer this, back then. Yeah. It yeah. didn't matter to me. Yeah. The things he did that mattered to me were like Christmas Eve. He said, I don't celebrate Christmas, but why don't you call Kobe's? And tell them we want a room to ourselves. I'm like, what you mean a room to ourselves? Because you're supposed to sit at the table with other people. He said, no, I don't want to sit with other people. I just want to be with you. I said, how did they do that? He said, call and find out. I called. They was like, you know, they were like, oh, it's going to be 250. He said, run it. I was like, run it? Just for the sit in a room by ourselves? So we go to the Kobe's. And we're the only people in this big room holding hands. Now, like the 250, TV. that was just to sit alone. Sit. That, that ain't even the food and the drinks. And then people kept passing by the room thinking we were celebrities looking in there. Like, who? they all sitting there like crabs up on each other. And we the only ones in that room. We got our own chef right there, Hibachi, doing the thing. And he did that for me, even though he didn't even celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. Because I'm Jewish, however, at that time I was not I sure. fully Jewish, right? So I was exploring Judaism at that time, Messianic Jewish, as, actually. So I felt so special, and then everyone kept putting and looking in the room like, "What? What? What? Like, who are they?" And I was like, I felt kind of embarrassed, but then I also felt so loved and so special. So that's just one of the many things he did to show me what he thought of me. And that's what kind of man I like and what kind of man that attracts, that I'm attracted to, which is a man that makes me feel like, hey, you value me. And that's why I wrote this book, because there's so many women of high value and high worth that are being overlooked and undervalued. I was getting some money then, though, God damn it, that yeah. Yeah, I was fucking with you. I met you. I was against somebody. But I think what helped is because you're from Chicago and you're not from Florida. And I'm not trying to no, hate it, on my it, Florida no, boys. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's not even just that. It's not just me being from Chicago. Like, I was exposed to a lot of shit at a very young age. At a very, very, very young age. Like, a lot of different shit. Like, on every angle. Not from just street shit, neither. You know what I'm saying? But from both. Because I had an uncle who went to NFL. So I got a taste of that life at like 11, 12 years old, 13 years old. But then I'm still living in the hood though with my mama and shit, with all her stunts. You know what I'm saying? Seeing all that shit. You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? I even had to meet his mom because she didn't trust that a 39 year old. That's when I was rocking. Hey, look, that's when I was rocking with my mama real tough then. Me and my mama were rock so tough now, but at that point, Cause I'm paying all my mama bills, right? And she still to me like, what are you doing my son? Hey, no, no, no. Like, my mama was fuck. My mama loved money, right? I was getting so much money. Like she was living in this. I had my mama living in this big ass house. I was like Mount Dora. It was a big ass, big ass house. It had everything but a pool. Like I was paying all her bills. I don't know what the fuck she was doing with her money. I don't care. But and so <laughs> my mom was even talking about becoming Muslim at that time. Hey, look, I, is it? Hey, look, I was getting so much money. Oh God, I was getting so much money, right? That mama was talking about becoming Muslim. Mm. That was the first Christmas, like the Christmas 2010, like going to 2011. That was the first one she didn't celebrate no, no nothing, mm. like no Christmas decorations and no nothing. He used you know to that? drive around with a jar. <laughs> My would a do that. Jar. He used to drive around with a mason jar. Yeah, that's back when the niggas used to have to believe in the jar. You know, <laughs> cool that shit, the jar. But no, like I, so like I was, I was exposed to like different shit that a lot of men not exposed to. You know what I'm saying? And that's what like kind of like shake me for you to be 15 years just younger me. than me and to be able to pull me out of my comfort zone and i was dealing with young women i mean older women at 15 no, years old but you not only pulled me but we became boyfriend and girlfriend we were in a relationship we wasn't just kicking it we it wasn't, wasn't smashing no it wasn't just that it was like full throttle i forgot you met my mama though i forgot all about oh her. his mom wanted to meet me i had to meet her over there what's the what's the spot it's still open the lounge is closed legacy and she said, what you want with my son? I'm like, what you mean? I said, I love him. <laughs> Super Achiever, serial dater, 
by Gloria Jordan, <laughs> available on Kindle and Amazon. Make sure y'all leave a review. You know what I mean? That's what yes, she did. Yes, <laughs> I need that. I'm trying to be a New York Times bestseller. I ain't trying to be. I will be. No, you know, I'm about that life. You know what though? Like, is you really about that life? I'm about that life. You about that life? I'm about that life. Which, I'm saying so right now. Like, where you at when it comes to men? Before we get up out of here. I'm are you fucking with niggas single. or you, are you ain't? I'm super, you're super, super single. single. So for the men so who watch sad. this, so for, for the men who watch this now, right? Because men are going to see this. Of course. A lot of women are going to see this, but a lot of men are going to see this too. Yes, no, I'm like, heterosexual. What would you... <laughs> Strictly diggly, I promise. <laughs> what would you say to the men, like, you know what I mean, who, who, you know I mean, who want to get at you? They got to come correct. They got to come correct. What, what type of men you like? What's your type? I like a man of integrity. A man of honor, a man of his word, a man who says and does what he says he's going to do. I want a man who is self-sufficient, someone who's not perfect but knows what their issues are. They've named them, they claim them, and they're working towards a better state of mind because I'm not raising anyone else's son unless they're going to pay me child support. <laughs> I'm not healing anyone. I'm not Dr. Phil. I'm not a Yama Von Zant. Those days are over. I feel the same <laughs> way. I feel the same yeah, way. That's right. My dog. I'm looking for somebody to level up with, somebody that's going to add to. That's what you're supposed to do. So I'm really looking for someone who, honestly who sees the value in me and is not intimidated by the appearance or the education or the mind, but someone who actually sees it as, as an asset and not necessarily as a liability. So let me ask you this. What would you say to the women out there, you know what I mean, who are going through, you know what I mean, trials and tribulations, not only in dating, in the dating world, but just in life in general, the other plus size women and women in general, um, what would you say to them, like, um, like, cause I know you went through your share of ups and downs, is coming up on you ready to be fifty and shit. You look good to the motherfucker, for real, for real. Thank you. You know what I mean? You truly are like wine. You do get Thank better with time. You. you know what I mean? Beautiful <laughs> smile and some more shit. Thank but uh, <laughs> like, what would you say to to all the women, all the other <clears> plus size women out there? Um, like I said, and women in general. Like, what would you say to them, as far as just going through their situations and, and trying to level up? What I would say to all my beautiful sisters out there, no matter what your ethnicity, no matter what your nationality, know your worth. Know who you are and love who you are and do not let society tell you that you're not worth anything unless you have a man or unless a man is in your life. I'm not anti-man, but the right man will appear. Don't chase men, let men come to you. Chase opportunities, chase money, chase life, but don't chase men. And more than that, if hey, you, now, hold on, and don't make a man chase your ass. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, don't you make do. a nigga chase you. Yes, you do. That's you what's wrong don't right make now. Nigga chase you. I'm saying a little chase is okay. Yeah, a little. But don't don't like, play some hard of y'all be like, like all the, uh, some of y'all play like high school games. No, and no, shit. no, don't know. Grown ass women, I, like you know, don't try to come to my hotel late night to talk. You know, you want to come over here to fuck. Really? Like, I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about. I'm just saying I'm in general. In you room know, you want to come. <laughs> we conduct the business. Stop. It. <laughs> <laughs> she slick. She crazy. Man. And, and look again, super <laughs> cheaper, serial dater. I Gloria Joyner. But again, go ahead. Finish talking to the ladies. I'm sorry. So what I want to say is, I love all my women. Stop competing with each other. Stop feeding into the patriarchal archetype of women pitting, pitting us against one another. Your sister is not your enemy. Your sister is your love and your support. We need each other. Stop fighting women over men. If a man puts you in a position that he has another woman, bow out gracefully. Do not ever humiliate yourself or degrade yourself against another woman. We need to check each other. You need someone to tell you if that outfit ain't working for you, boo. We need someone to tell us if that makeup is not doing the job. A man is not your everything. You have to be a whole 100% person if you want the right man to come into your life. I will say I agree with you with that. However, I must interject. Sorry, I'm not I would rude. love for you to interject. It's your show. Let's not act like <laughs> A woman doesn't need a man to be complete. Yes, just like a man needs a woman to be complete. I'm not saying a woman needs a man to be her end-all, be-all. Right. 
I'm not saying that at all. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, it's like, okay, speaking from a man's point of view, because that's all I can do because I'm a man. And I'm a father, okay? Um, when a man is with a woman, like a real man is with a woman, even if he's just like fucking her, even when a real nigga's just fucking you, right? It's still a type of relationship there. If y'all just if y'all fucking on a regular, then that's still a relationship. You dig? The woman, if she fucking with a real nigga, her whole like swag change. She looks better. She <laughs> eats better. She she lives better. She glows. She glows. All that. You dig what I'm saying? So, and for a man, once we a real man, like he wanna, you know, acquire some money, get some money. Once he does that, you know what I mean? He, the only next best thing to have is a woman. You follow me? Because we really do these things. I said this before, I say it again. We do all these things to really be able to get women. I will say this little secret before we get out of here in closing. Uh, every real man, or real player, should I say, he owns or operates something that attracts women. Every real man or real player, real man period, not even real player, any real man, he owns or operates something that attracts women. Izzy, would you amen to that, brother? Amen. <laughs> so what do you own or operate? That King of BBW's podcast. <laughs> Dedicated to all the curvy, curvaceous, plus size queens in America and abroad. God damn it. Look, where can we find you on social media, man? I'm on Facebook. I have a Super Achiever Serial Dater page on Facebook. I have a Red G page on Facebook. I'm on Twitter at Fat, P H A T R E D G. I'm also on Reverb Nation as Red G. And I'm also on LinkedIn. I'm on I'm on what Instagram. Instagram? I'm on Instagram? Instagram. Gloria Joyner, J O Y N E R. That would be me, Super Achiever Serial Data. Follow me. Come holler at me. I also have a parenting vlog as well. Parenting is not for punks. You can come holler at me because I know some of you guys out there, y'all need help in that department as well because children need to be raised, not just grow up. Already. So mm. you did a fine job with your son, I can say that. Yes, thank you so much. He, a fine job, he, ain't, he ain't he um, ain't he ain't no punk and he ain't uh he ain't uh he ain't go to jail. <laughs> and guess what? My son actually had liked it him. Of course he liked he it. He had liked of it. Of course him. he liked it. A real nigga ain't never had no problem with it. And my son nigga. did the cover art because his mom sent him to one of the top art schools in the world, Ringling College of Art and Design. He has a BFA in illustration. So he can do anything, portraits. Damn, she plugging, she plugging the sun too. Ain't this some shit? God damn it. Because I owe a quarter of a million dollars for putting him through the Hey, I need some. I need y'all to help pay off some of these loans. Plug that shit. Hey, look. We're going to get up out of here, man. Look, y'all make sure y'all get at me in the comment section. Like, share this shit. Y'all need to share this shit because y'all be saying y'all fuck with me. Y'all don't be never sharing none of my shit, dog. And I feel some type of way about that. But anyway, I'm going to get about my little feelings. Anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You did. Um, follow me on IG at King of BBWs 407. You can follow me on TikTok at King of BBWs. They took my last TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. TikTok got real funny. YouTube shit. as well? Yeah, that's where we at right now. You know what I mean? Anyway, look, when God creates, He makes no mistakes. Big is beautiful too. It's up, and I'm still lit. All right, we out of here.